so much better. She's not all tense when I pick her up to take her out like she was. You can see how much more relaxed she is, Ugh. <clears throat> which is a good thing. I freak out as much when I lift her up and down. Hello, pretty girl. Look how relaxed she is. Picked her up. That's the second time I've picked her up. She's doing great. I'm going to take this blanket off the bed. So she can move around. And explore. Isn't she pretty? Let's get her over here in the sun. Look how pretty she is. Uh, I'll put her right here. Anyways, I guess I don't need to make this video any longer. I've already pretty much said what I have to say. So she's just coming along really nicely. Just took her a little bit to adjust after all the drama and the trauma moving and being relocated and being shipped and having a new home We will start working with other things with her soon. We'll give it another maybe week or two. And then we will start trying to tame her with head training. Sorry. And that didn't go over well, but that's okay. It's a little soon still. She'll get used to it. I usually start real slow for head training. I start here. I was just kind of rushing it that time for the video. That's not what I usually do, and I don't recommend doing that. If they get used to pulling away, they will continue to pull away. So you want to take your time and make sure that they don't ever pull away. And then, of course, you know, for the purpose of this video again, I'm pushing myself. I'm pushing my luck. But anyways, you, you know, you do this for about a week every day. And then you kind of go up here for about a week every day. And then you can go there for about a week every day. I'm really pushing my luck here. It's okay, pretty girl. Go for a long stroke. Let her relax. But anyways, and then you just keep working your way up until you can get to the head. The head will take a lot longer because as soon as you touch the head, they really freak out. This is LaLuna, everybody. And this video is off. <laughs>